This is Emac. 24101 on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe because I just entered the building with WWE Bank Stations on Divas. On the Divas. Sasha Banks, Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Naomi and, uh, Naomi and Samina, the Bella Twins, and Nike Bree, Alicia Fox, and all that stuff. And Steen on WrestleMania.com. Now, we already know. The three NXT Divas that debuted on last night's Raw uh, were the current reign defending NXT Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. Um, and Becky Lynch and Charlotte, uh, they all made their debuts. So basically, this is what happened. I'm gonna, I didn't do a review, so I'm just gonna tell you right now. Basically, what happened? Okay, so Sonya came out, she interrupted a promo by the belt, so it's in each class. She talk about women like taking over. It's where it's like MMA, soccer, tennis, all that stuff. They say that it was time for a revolution. She would introduce Paige before bringing out Becky Lynch followed by Charlotte. Now Naomi Tamina came out saying that they had unfinished business with the Bellas and Paige and they all and they are all competition with that WWE needs. They asked when they will finally get what they deserve. Stephanie said that there was someone else who thinks like them and introduced an NXT women's champion Sasha Banks. After Banks entered the ring a melee ensued that had the NXT was putting Taim Bella in their finishers. Paige raised a hand to Charlotte and Lynch while Naomi raised Sasha Banks and Tamina's to win the segment. That, I mean, it was a nice five-star segment, a classic segment that you can look back on. It was memorable. I didn't think it was going to be that good because it was just, you know, spur a moment they were changing plans. And, I mean, this was unbelievable. I said unbelievable. I can't believe I just said unbelievable. But it was <laughs> unbelievable. Legit. One of the greatest Divas segments um, I've seen 10 years. Well, I've only been watching wrestling 10 years. Maybe it was the greatest Divas segment I've ever seen. Hell. That I've actually seen in my 10 years of watching an actual regular television. I mean, these three NXT Divas calls. I thought Becky Lynch was injured. Just saying. Just saying. But it does fast right because of the time. They do tape NXT months in advance. But I thought she was injured. I thought I didn't think she was going to be coming back. She said she was going to be coming back to NXT. That's why. So I don't know. Because there is. See, I'm going to tell you all. There's rumors, all this stuff. Hold on. So Becky Lynch was going to win the NXT Championship from. Women's well, Championship. From, uh, from Sasha Banks at the TakeOver, next TakeOver. Because they did TakeOver off. Uh, so I can tell you that. Um, but at the next takeover event on the Dead Air Live, the night before SummerSlam, which is August 22nd, um, so I didn't, I guess not, or Bailey maybe she'll take it, so she's actually injured with an arm injury. I guess Becky Lynch is going to go with Charlotte, um, gosh, these divas have really, I mean, they have five star matches, their mic works pretty good, um, now, I mean, I would have liked to see all three of them, like, take on, like, would go with Paige and Naomi and Tamina kind of didn't think they should be involved, but I kind of do see where they were going. Um, because Sasha Banks is, they're all baby faces, that's the thing. I guess Sasha Banks has turned heel again. I don't know. Um, she's like a bad girl now, mm -hmm. she is the boss. Um, but I would like to see all the divas, like, just NXT, you know, from a fashion, but it's good. Because then how are they going to do this now? Now you're going to miss one out or miss two of them out. That's why. So I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe we'll have the six Diva Sankey match. I don't know what we're going to see. But Becky Lynch and 19 Mushroom and Sasha Banks made their Ryan Roster debuts. And Charlotte. Charlotte and Becky are, are aligned with Paige while Sasha team and Naomi and Tamina. So below are comments from Paige, Sasha, and W. Diva Sankey and Nikki Bella. So you spoke, uh, Nikki, Nikki Bella said. Mm -hmm. Or the Bella Twins. I don't know. Let's share the same console. You spoke, they heard changes made and the conversation begins. Time to make history. Make history and hashtag Divas Champ, hashtag Road to 300 Days, hashtag Team Bella, hashtag Epic. Um, what does it see Nikki Bella and uh, Sasha Banks go on? Because, I mean, we can see a variety of different matches here. It's a good competition now. We get women's wrestling, we get new, fresh matches. New, I mean, it's gonna be good. So, Paige said, I have my girls at Miss Charlotte W and at Becky Lynch W. Now it's time to take over. Create change for the good, hashtag Freaks and Geeks. And then they all have pictures and all that stuff. Um, Sasha Banks, WWE said, who's the baddest? Hashtag Team Bad, hashtag Raw, hashtag Raw, whatever. And then they're all picking them. It was cool. It was phenomenal. So what's going to happen next week on Raw? What's going to happen on SmackDown tonight? Uh, at the tapings. For a main event or maybe even. I don't know. I mean, when you think about it. Now, here's more news. There's room for plants that were changed, and here's your reaction to their segment.
it was good. I mean, I, I would, I mean, who's gonna become the Divas Champion first? I mean, who's gonna, who's gonna get their first win? Who's gonna have their first match? I mean, what's gonna happen? There's a lot of questions. However, TNRWrestlingInc.com, according to PW Insider, Saudi officials were said to be absolutely thrilled with how the NXT Divas segment came off on this week's draft from Atlanta, according to PW Insider. Now, there was a feeling that WWE's Divas division turned a corner with the angle. WWE, like I reported, actually, originally wanted to do this program closer to SummerSlam in August. But the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team winning last week and all the attention they received led to WWE pushing the plans up this week. And on a related note, since, you know, WWE all Fame Ric Flair was at Raw to see Cheryl's official main roster debut, and it was said to have been an emotional moment for him. Yeah, apparently, he was tearing up backstage. Like, I mean, goodbye to division, hello women's wrestling, because that's honestly what it is. Just my opinion, I know. I mean, this was awesome. I mean, I love the Divas. I mean, hell, I don't mind. I mean, the submissions that they put on them, and... I mean, NXT did take over big freaking time. That was big. I mean, this was epic, honestly, epic. Now, when you think about it, who's left on NXT, but that's not what matters. I mean, yet Stephanie McMahon congratulate them, and hell... I mean, this could, this was Diva Larry Truth. I gotta say, this could have been the best segment of the night. They really stole the show. Um, they, they, I mean, I cannot wait to see what they're gonna do now on the big show, the big, the big show. No pun intended, big show. Of uh, the big stage against the best divas. Well, I don't know if they're the best, but I can't wait till Bailey comes. I mean, they're four horse on the fuck, man. Um, I'm gonna end this video short right now, so cut it right now. So, uh, this is gonna be it, guys. So, see you two. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video, share this video, leave a comment with your thoughts and your opinions. Um, did you like the segment? Did you not? I mean, you know, what do you think should have happened and all that stuff? So, subscribe for more news, rumors, headlines, gossip, speculation, updates, previews, predictions, gameplay, commentaries on the PS4, reviews. And all that stuff, good content coming up on the channel. This is Emac2411 on YouTube.com. And I just left the building.